This is my Maslow CNC hanging router. It provides excellent value for a hobbyist, but will not replace a professional gantry-style CNC router for professional use. The Maslow's under $500 cost is due to its unique motion system, which relies on gravity working against two variable length chains to position the router sled, which must slide on a flat workpiece. Because you provide your own router, build the frame yourself, and cut out the final round sled using a temporary sled that you cut by hand, the electromechanical parts of the Maslow can ship in a large United States Postal Service priority mailbox. My Maslow is the second generation that includes a ring for two chain carriages to roll along. The rolling chain carriages allow the two support chains to virtually end at the center of the sled where the router bit is positioned. I also purchased the optional third motor to control the Z up and down axis of my router automatically, which I greatly recommend, as otherwise you will have to adjust the Z height manually every time the machine starts a new pass or you want to add a tab to hold your finished piece. Because the Maslow's sled rides on top of your workpiece, you are limited to cutting flat sheets, and it is optimal for cutting flat pieces out of those sheets. This is not to say that you can't cut pockets or even 3D contours, but your working area has to be small enough that the sled can ride around fully supported on surrounding uncut support material. In the same way, if you get your sled near the edge of the workpiece, it may fall off the edge and tilt the router bit unless you are holding one side down manually. So although you can put a 4x8 sheet on the frame, unless you build a skirt of the same thickness around the workpiece, you can't cut all the way to the edge. Even with a skirt, the Maslow suffers from loss of control near the far bottom left and right edges of its workpiece, as the acute angles on the chains don't provide enough force to hold the bit stable as the chain angle gets closer to vertical, which can lead to some wavy lines in those areas. The Maslow is relatively slow. As an example, this piece, which is about 26 inches long, takes about 7 minutes to cut out of 11 32nd plywood using two passes. However, to drill the 7 holes in the part takes another 13 minutes due to conservative plunge rate defaults in MakerCam. So each of these parts takes a total of 20 minutes, plus the manual time needed to cut the tabs holding it to the base sheet when you are finished. I was making 32 of these pieces, so I decided to use the Maslow to cut them out, but to drill the holes manually using a jig I also created using the Maslow, which is just a pocket the same size as the part with the holes pre-drilled in it. I cut all of these parts facing the same direction, and you can see that they align nicely when stacked up. When I modeled the hole drilling jig, I did not make it any larger than the part. I did sand the outsides of the parts down. Of note is that I cut the jig out vertically, while the parts were cut out horizontally. This difference in orientation may have caused some of the issues I had. Most of the parts didn't quite fit in the jig even after sanding, both because the parts were about 1-2mm to two millimeters too long, and because the curve didn't quite line up. It was close, and I was able to use each end of the jig individually, with the other end of the part hanging out a little bit, to drill the holes I needed. But in the future, I'll try to enlarge the outline of any jigs like this before cutting them out, and cut the jig in the same orientation as the part. As another example, I cut out these pieces which bolt together into a ring that was designed at a 24 inch inside diameter, and the circle was within a 1 16th of an inch in both dimensions. Because these parts only had two holes, I decided to use the Maslow to drill the holes, so I didn't try the jig approach on these parts. For the price, it's hard to beat, and for cutting large scale pieces, I found the accuracy to be good enough for everything I'm doing. A few final notes on safety. You must attend the machine while it is working, as with any CNC machine, you have a high-speed bit cutting flammable sawdust out of flammable wood. If something goes wrong and the bit stops moving, the friction of the bit can easily start a fire. This has happened to other CNC machines and has already happened to at least one person's Maslow. This picture is not mine. You should also invest in a pair of ear protectors, as being in the same room as a router running for hours in a vacuum or other dust collection system can do some damage to your hearing otherwise.